dear students in this system of charges there are three charges kept at the corners or the vertices of an equilateral triangle okay they are plus 10 micro coulomb micro is 10 power minus 6 coulombs here negative 10 micro coulomb and here we have 5 micro coulomb at a okay now the question is determine the resultant force on the charge at a so we are going to draw the force vectors at this charge now okay so first the charge on a due to b here plus 10 micro coulomb and this is also plus 5 micro coulomb so since both are positive it will be a repulsive force so it should go away like this so let uh, name this as FAB and now here this is the force on A due to this negative charge negative 10 micro coulomb okay so it should be an attractive force so this charge will attract this in this direction so this is the force acting on A due to this negative charge kept at C now we have to find out the resultant of these two vectors. So for that first we have to find out the magnitude of FAB and then the magnitude of FAC and then we are going to use the parallelogram law of addition and to find out the total force that is the resultant force acting at charge plus 5 micro coulomb which is at A. Okay. So the first step is to calculate the magnitude of FAB. We know it is KQA QB divided by R squared. Okay, R is also given since it is an equilateral triangle. All the sides are equal to 5 centimeters. So centimeter to be converted into meter. So 5 into 10 power minus 2 whole square. Please do not forget to square this distance. And you will get 180 Newton along BA and FAC the magnitude of FAC equals KQA QC divided by R squared so K value is 9 into 10 power 9 and the values of QA and QC is substituted here and you will get a negative sign because it is the attractive force so negative 180 Newton along AC so now to find out the total force on charge at A I told you like to to any two vectors they are like this and if we can find out the resultant of these two vectors by using this formula so if you know these two forces the magnitude of these two forces you can uh, find out the total force fa equals square root of fab square plus fac square plus 2 fab fac cos theta the theta is the angle between these two forces so this angle the angle between these two forces since it is the equilateral triangle this will be 60 degree and this will be 120 degree so this is the angle between FAB and FAC so we are going to substitute that here and cos 120 degree is negative 1 divided by 2, negative half. And then if you substitute the values, and you will get 180 Newton. So that's the value of the resultant force Fa that acts on the charge which is kept at A.